Hey everybody, good evening. So I am going to go back to doing some vinyl. I haven't done a, just kind of a show and tell in a while. Uh, so I'm going to showcase my reissue of the Dave Brubeck Quartet, uh, Quartet Time Out. Um, this is a jazz album. It's one of my favorites. And I just have the worst luck uh, coming across you know early or original pressings of this and I, I know I'm not I'm probably in the uh, majority by saying that but I see tons of people in the VC constantly posting like hey I was at the thrift store I found like this great copy of this record like an original pressing or like real early pressing and I'm just like man how the fuck y'all find like just come across this stuff I, I I think the best purchase I've made at a thrift store was like uh was like the uh chariots of fire soundtrack which was like not even a big deal i just bought it because it was the first album that i found that was in decent shape um but nonetheless i came across this at half price books uh like last year i think and they were running like a 40 percent off any item and they had this in i want to say it was like 13.99 so i ended up getting <clears throat> this album for under ten dollars and i'll be honest now I, I, this is pressed by green corner and i would put this right up there with probably the the wax time i would imagine they're probably in the same ballpark but this is i mean i'm not gonna lie this packaging is fantastic um and i'm sure it's just like some sort of digital uh repressing you know it's not even a true analog pressing but until I can find myself a nice copy of this and early pressing of this, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually really satisfied with it. Obviously, as you can read, it comes with the stereo mono versions, and it's really heavy. I mean, this is very textured. It's very nicely packaged. Very colorful. It's 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 fantastic. I mean, I I'm not gonna lie. I was surprised at how good this was when I bought it. And especially, again, I bought this brand new sealed uh, and it ended up getting it for under $10. So I, uh, like I said, I, this is just kind of a happy um, transitional copy until I can find a better version. But I um, thought it'd be nice to kind of show you. I've been really listening to this record lately, getting into it again. Um, the, Sleeves are very, very high quality, or excuse me, the inner sleeve, like the flaps. I mean, it's really nice. Comes in a nice inner sleeve. The vinyl is very heavy and quiet. Look how nice that looks. Seems to be clean a little bit, though, a little dusty. But it's very nice. That was the stereo. This is the mono version. And again, this is pressed by Green Corner. And honestly, I haven't really done any research on them, but. This came from Half Price, and there, like I said, it comes same same area as um, the Wax Time, so I'd imagine they're probably the same company or somewhere in that same ballpark. So this is the back cover. It's limited edition of a thousand. See that? Uh, limited edition, first pressing of a thousand, and then it says seven twenty eight of fifteen hundred. So they didn't even go by their own. But yeah, no, like I said, thought it would be kind of cool to show this off. Um, be curious to hear how, how many of y'all have this album and what version you have. Uh, I know I've seen a handful of y'all again in the VC popping up saying y'all found a lot of these in good shape. And uh, I would love, again, to find, kind of stroll across one of these one of these days. And I'm sure I will. I just got to be patient. But um, 
so yeah it's time out by dave brubeck quartet and uh, thanks for watching as always